Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about um, input in JavaScript as we get started in JavaScript programming, our second lesson. Um, output, if you remember, can be handled with window.alert or document.write, um, and we assign variables. Uh, so you can see in the code at the right uh, here, we've got a uh, var, a variable called first name set equal to Mickey, which is a string. And then I do window.alert, welcome, and then concatenate on that variable. And because the variable's outside of the quotes, it will give me the value of the variable. So this will say, welcome, Mickey. Um, this code runs the same way every time. So if this is on a web page, every time we load this web page, it's going to say, welcome, Mickey, welcome, Mickey, welcome, Mickey. The only way that we can alter what it's going to say is to change the variable inside of the code. Um, so that doesn't really do a lot for us. However, if we take input and we use the window.prompt method to do that, that's going to allow us to interact with the user. So in the parentheses of the window.prompt method, we're allowed to send a question that prompts the user as to what kind of input that we're looking for. Uh, it's important we set window.prompt to store its result in a variable or the data is lost. So the same way that before we had var first name equals Mickey, now we're going to say var first name equals, and you'll see down here we set it equal to window.prompt. And then inside those parentheses, we give the question, enter your first name. A pop-up window will appear that I'll show you on the next screen. The user gets to type into that window. They hit enter. And then whatever they've typed in gets stored in first name. And when we do window.alert welcome first name, then it'll say welcome and whatever they typed in. So the program does the same thing every time, but you get a different result based on what you put in. So if I put on in Mickey, it'll say, welcome, Mickey. If I put in Sally, it's going to say, welcome, Sally. Uh, so we customize that to the user and to their input. Uh, when we prompt, it's really important that we are spe as specific as possible with the user about what we want. So looking at this code, you'll see that code A creates a variable called birth year and sets it equal to window.prompt, enter your birth year. Well, as a programmer, I expect that birth year to come in in a certain way. Maybe I expect it to have four digits. Maybe I expect it to have two digits. But I need to specify that to the to the user, or I'm not going to necessarily get what I want. I'll have to write a lot of conditions to prepare for bad input. So it's so much better if we can be more specific with the user. So you'll see in code B, we do window.prompt, enter your birth year in the format y y y y, showing them that I want four digits to format their year. That window, that prompt window for B, shows up right here. Enter your birth year in the format YYYY, and in this space is where they type, and then they click on OK. Code C then does the same thing, but uses an optional parameter inside window.prompt. And so I say, enter your birth year, and then comma, and another set of quotes, YYYY, and what I get is a default answer here. And hopefully they'll see that and they'll type in 2020 or 1972 or whatever their birth year is. So you can see the difference that code B shows up with a blank input space and code C shows up with this default input inside of our input space. Either is fine, but be specific when you're asking a user about the format in which you want the information. Asking for integers. So all input in JavaScript comes in as a string. So anytime I do a window.prompt, what's coming in comes in as a string. So when I ask for their age and they put in 15, I get the string 15. See the 15 in double quotes, not the number 15. This is a really important difference when we try to do mathematical operations because the string 15 plus 6 gives me 156 because this plus sign acts as concatenation because this is acting as a string. If I have the number 15 plus six, then this plus sign acts as addition, and I get the 21 that we're looking for. To fix this, when I'm asking the user for a number that I'm gonna utilize in uh, mathematical operations, we have to parse int. And all parse int really does is remove those quotes from around it so that it doesn't act like a string and it acts like an integer. So it's converting the quote 15 to just 15. So here's my normal window.prompt enter your age. 
and you'll see that it's inside the parentheses of a parse int function. If I want decimals, I have the same issue because it's coming in as quotes. Um, so I have to do some parsing to get decimals also, but I can't use parse int. If I use parse int on a decimal, it's going to truncate or cut off all the decimals. So if I input 15.99 and I parse int that, I'm going to get 15. So I'm losing 0.99. I'm losing a good chunk of the number that I've that I've inputted. Um, so if there's a chance that the user might put in a decimal and you want to make sure that you don't lose that decimal, then instead of using parse int, we use parse float. And again, it's the same thing. I write my entire window.prompt and I push it inside of a parse float. I only have to do this when I'm asking the user for numbers on which I want to do mathematical operations. So parse int and parse float only for numbers, not if I'm asking for their name or their phone number or their email. So here we are putting it all together. Uh, I'm going to create a variable called this year equals 2020. I'm going to create a variable called name and set it equal to window.prompt. Enter your first name. Notice there is no parsing because it comes in as a string and a name is a string. And then I'm going to ask for their birth year. So you'll notice now I'm going to parse int it and I'm going to say window.prompt, enter your birth year and give the default option. And then once I have all that information, this year, name and birth year, I'm going to do a window.alert with a bunch of concatenation into it. Welcome name. This year will be this year minus b year years old notice the name is outside of the quotes and that this year minus b year is outside of the quotes so when it says enter your first name i put in mickey and then it says enter your birth year and i put in 1972 and then it says welcome mickey this year you will be 48 years old this will operate differently uh, with whatever information you put in it does the same thing every time but the output changes based on the input all right, now it's time for you to practice. Uh, let's pretend you're asking a user to register for your site in separate prompts. Ask for their first name, then their last name, then their age and their email. Finally, output the information to the screen. Use document.write, don't use window.alert. Uh, and I want you to format it so that it looks like this. And the last piece is that I want this email link, uh, this email to actually act as a link. So you're gonna have to wrap an A tag around it, which is part of why we're using document.write. Um, I'll post a video with that solution, uh, but once you're finished that, um, be sure to go to the website uh, for more information, csmickeyangle.com. Uh, there's notes and there's lecture code and there's links. Uh, and there's also a link here to uh, more practice problems um, with a, a lot larger variety of, of options for you to work on in practicing your work with input and with variables and with output. Uh, thanks, and we'll see you at the next lesson.